What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and how long can a TV repair last, or how long on average can it last? Well, this is my very first TV repair I did on YouTube, and this TV, so far, lasted nine years. Uh, actually, this March will be nine years. So if you guys are interested in that video, check out the link in the video description below. So that was my very first video I posted on YouTube. It was a semi-viral video, I guess. It got 100,000 views within the first year. And uh, that's really kick-started my YouTube, I guess, career uh, doing electronics and TV repair. Uh, I got this TV actually doing home theater. So when I was doing home theater, hanging TVs on the wall, I would take down the broken TV, the customer would be like, discard it, do whatever you want with it, recycle it. So I'll, I'll take it you know, to my house and try to fix it. And so when you do a lot of home theater, you run across a lot of broken TVs. Sometimes you get a broken TV that has a crack in the screen that you can't really do anything with because if you have a crack in the screen, you can't really order the screen. The manufacturers don't sell them and the screens come from China. So for it to, like, you have to contact someone from China, then you have to able to like buy it from them and then ship it over and it's a big screen. So it's not, uh, I don't have access to that, that route. But uh, with this TV, it was, um, I had no power. The customer gave it to me. They were, uh, it's a two, at the time, it was a $2,000 TV and they um, just didn't want to deal with it. And I just started opening it up and I looked at it and it was blown capacitors. They were swollen. It was physic I physically looked at the bad part. And it was pretty easy repair. But I would say, uh, yeah, capacitors are the most common uh, problem on TVs. Well, this you know, LCD, LED TVs. I think the reason why my TV repairs last so long is because I don't leave my TV on overnight. And also, my TV settings, my picture settings, aren't maxed out. Uh, leaving your TV settings at around 50 or 75%. And especially your backlight settings, leaving that on between 50 to 75% will extend the life on your TV. Also, the TV um, parts I replaced in my Samsung TV nine years ago, I upgraded the capacitors, meaning those capacitors that failed in my power supply were 1,000 microfarads, which is the value of the capacitor, and 10 volt rating. And also, the, the voltage rating was low and the temperature rating was low. So what I decided to do is I bought capacitors, which is the same value, 1,000 microfarads, but I bought capacitors that were 35 volt and a higher temperature rating, which should um, extend the life on my TV. So up to 35 volts can pass through, through that capacitor before that capacitor starts to fail. So it worked out for me in this case. My TV is almost a decade old, and I had no problems since then. Um, of course, buying parts from reliable sources is going to help too. I buy parts from electroPartsOnline.com and uh, ShopJimmy.com. And the reason why is because they test the TV boards and they, uh, they have certified uh, technicians that work on these boards and they refurbish the boards. And they, and they have a warranty on the boards as well. So if they do fail, then you can exchange it for another board. So those are things that you could do to extend the life uh, if you do a TV repair. But uh, plasma TVs, they tend to get really hot and those TV repairs don't last as long. I'm not really sure how long on average, but I would say a lot less than LED and LCD TVs. And uh, DLP TVs, yeah, they don't last as long as the uh, repairs I do for the LED, LCD TVs. So guys, if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech. Click on the subscribe link right here or the subscribe button down below. And if you want to check out my TV repair playlist, check out this playlist link right here. And if you know anyone that may be interested in this video, click on the share link below and share this video to them. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.